hello hello dear viewers welcome to our channel it's very good to have you here in today's video we are going to have a look at how to inspect a spark plug using a multimeter for example this one has multiple ground terminals we have four ground electrodes on this one only one ground electrode on this one this one is actually made by ngk and we have also spark plugs with three ground terminals and depending on the length also we have different reaches here we have a very long center electrode a spark plug with very long center electrode and here we have a, a one with a shorter center electrode now when we look at the parts of the spark plug for example considering this spark plug we have different parts this right here we call it the terminal nut this is where the spark plug high tension cable is connected some of the spark plug terminal nuts are removable and on some spark plugs they are not removable so here we have the terminal nut then right here next to that on this ceramic we have a rib sometimes known as corrugation they are basically there to hold and uh, grip the high tension cable act like insulators and corrugation and then after that we have the nut here and the nut on this side it has a seal there is a seal here on almost all the spark plugs you can see that there is a seal this is a seal that prevents compression from coming through this entire system there is a seal here this metallic seal and then on the lower side we have right here we have a gasket this one is a gasket and here we have the nut the thread the thread that goes into the cylinder head and when you come to the tip we have the ground electrode right here we have the ground electrode here we have the ground electrodes and going from this end through the entire insulation coming to this point we have the center electrode it begins here and it travels all the way and comes right out here on all the spark plugs we have that one it comes from here travels through all this way and then comes right here this is called the center electrode electricity actually travels from the high tension cable through the spark plug and comes right here and spark will jump to the ground electrode from the center electrode now depending on the spark plug design there is resistor somewhere installed on this passage and on some spark plugs there is no resistance so there are spark plugs with resistor and there are spark plugs without resistor if there is a resistor included in the spark plug you will find something like this later r will be printed on the designation of the spark plug right here for example here we have r it indicates that there is a resistor inserted somewhere on this line coming from the terminal nut to the tip of the center electrode so this when we measure them we are expecting high resistance value and some of the spark plugs have the designated resistor value for example right here we have r6 is it visible on the camera yeah this way it is visible right here you see there is r6 so sometimes that is designated in such a manner in order to test the operation of the spark plug we can get used to a multimeter a digital multimeter of this kind can be used and uh, we put it on ohms we put it on ohms if we have a knob selector then we have to put it somewhere on 20 kilo ohm somewhere on 20 because we are expecting a maximum of 15 kilo ohm resistance so if you have a multimeter that has a selector knob asking you to select different resistor range then it should be placed at 20 kilo ohm for this multimeter this particular multimeter has no range selector so i will be using it as it is so put it on resistance then there are some resistance to be measured in order to check for continuity of the operation of the spark plug we have to measure resistance as we have previously mentioned there has to be continuity between the terminal nut and this tip of the electrode so this line it has to be continuous 
So we measure resistance between this point and this point. And then we take that value and compare it to uh, the specification provided by the manufacturer. For example, if there is a arm printed on the spark plug, if it has a, if it has a resistor, we are expecting a resistor value of somewhere around 4 ohm up to 15 kilo ohm. From 4 kilo ohm up to 15 kilo ohm, which means from 4,000 up to 15,000. Yeah, usually it, it falls in the range of 4,000 and 8,000, but sometimes it can go higher than that. If it goes beyond 15 kilo ohm, so the spark plug is going bad. If there is a spark plug without resistor, if there is no resistor inserted in here, we will be expecting somewhere between 1000 and 2000 ohms, which is like 1 and 2 kilo ohm. Somewhere around that we are expecting. And there should be no continuity between this center electrode and this metal surface. The nut, the thread, there should be no continuity between these surfaces. So there has to be no continuity. Now without any further ado, let's take a multimeter and do the measure. So let's turn on the multimeter. Multimeter is on ohms as you can see. And before doing any measurement, make sure that the multimeter has no resistance. So the connection is very nice. Touch the props like so, touch the props like so, and make sure that it needs it reads nearly zero ohm. So ours is good. Now in order to proceed, what we do is we touch one end of the multimeter on here, on the center. We touch one on the center, like so. And then the other end of the multimeter should go to the center tip. It's a good idea to measure it from the top, not from the side. Hold it like so. For example, for this particular spark plug, we are getting a resistance of 5 kilo ohm indicating that is a spark plug in good condition because this spark plug has r on it right here as you can see there is r here so this is a very nice spark plug so resistance value when you measure make sure that you are touching the tip of the electrode so it is reading 5 kilo ohm so it is between 4 and uh, 15 kilo ohm so this spark plug is in a very nice condition. For the other test, we can put your multimeter on continuity. And check if there is any continuity between the center terminal and the ground. There is no continuity here. There is no continuity with the ground. So this indicates that this spark plug is in a very good condition. So this is how you can test your spark plug. So irrespective of the, the shape, irrespective of the number of uh, electrodes, you can do a similar test. For, on this spark plug with multiple ground terminal, the test can be done as follows. Connect one multimeter in to the center terminal, terminal nut, and then put the other tip on the center of the center tip right here. Put it on ohms. Let's place it here, right in the center. This one is also reading 5 kilo ohm. You can also measure continuity between center and the ground no continuity so this is also very nice spark plug Now, right here on this spark plug, we are getting 1.2 kilo ohm. Because this is a, a spark plug without resistor, then 
we'll be good to go. Right here you can see that there is no R printed somewhere. So this indicates that this spark plug is very nice. This particular spark plug is a Bosch spark plug. Super Bosch spark plug. R6 is printed right here. Let's measure. Similarly, now put one of some altimeter here and then place the other right here. Now this one is reading 9 kilo ohm. Because it is between 4 and 15 kilo ohm, this is also a spark plug in a very nice condition. So depending on the specification of the spark plug, you can compare this to the specification provided by the manufacturer. But depending on the specification that we have right now at hand, this is a very nice spark plug. In order to check for insulation, you can put your multimeter on continuity and check. There is no grounding, there is no continuity between the center terminal or the terminal nut and the nut or the thread. So this way you can check if your spark plug has ground. This is another spark plug with a very long terminal tip. Now the test can be done in a similar manner. Place one multimeter right here and then find the tip four kilo ohm because of this r value because it has r on it so it is within the specification first this is how you can test the well-beingness of your spark plug there is no continuity here there is no continuity with the ground, there is no grounding, and we have tested that there is continuity with the center electrode. So this is how you can perform a spark plug test. Now if you have found extremely large resistance value when checking between the center terminal and uh, the terminal nut, you can always clean. Make sure that this surface is clean before doing the inspection. Otherwise, if there is some dirt accumulated or if there is a carbon deposit build up, that can lead to a false reading. So make sure that the tip is clean. That way you can have accurate reading. That was a very simple test you can do with a multimeter. And the other best way of testing a spark plug is by using a spark test. You plug a spark plug cable here and then you ground this to a nice engine ground. And then you crank the engine with the fuel system disconnected or disabled somehow. Then you will see the spark that is being emitted from the spark plug tip. There has to be strong blue spark. If you find that strong blue spark, then you can say the spark plug is in good condition. So roughly this is how you can test your spark plug by using multimeter. If you find this video helpful and if you like it, please smash the like button and uh, share it with friends so that they can also benefit from what is presented in here. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing and be a member of the family. And you can turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.